What's up everybody, my name is David, website creativepro.com. How to add Instagram to your website or blog. That's what we're gonna do in this video. So whether you're a travel blogger or travel vlogger and you have this awesome Instagram of all these pictures and videos and you wanna share it on your website, how exactly do you do that? How do you add Instagram? How do you add an Instagram feed to your website or blog? That's what I'm gonna cover in this tutorial video. I'm gonna show you three different ways how to just embed Instagram into your blog or website. So let's get into the video right now. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So now you have two ways to embed Instagram on your website or blog. So if you wanna install the whole entire feed, now in case you don't understand what that means, this is your Instagram feed. All these pictures and videos that you see, this is called your feed. Now to install this on your blog or website, to get people to subscribe and follow you on Instagram, you need to use a plugin. Now if you're just wanting to embed a specific image, you can just click on the image and highlight and then copy and paste this URL into any page or post and boom, uh, WordPress will automatically embed the image, which is very, very helpful. Now, let's talk about the feed way first. Now, the plugin we're gonna be using is called Smash Balloon Social Photo Feed. It used to be called Instagram Feed, but they had to change their name because of copyright infringement. You can't just have your <laughs> plugin called Instagram Feed and then you're not associated with Instagram. So. To install a plugin, very simple. We go to appearance, or sorry, we go to plugins and we go to add new. All right, now you should be able to type in Instagram feed and it should pop up sm smash social, social photo feed. <laughs> Say that three times fast as the top result. If it doesn't come up, just search for it, smash balloon social photo feed, whatever. This is the plugin that we want. So to install, click on install, done. And then we click on activate okay so now we have the plugin installed and activated now if you notice off into the left we'll have Instagram feed we'll have a new option in our sidebar so we go here and click on Instagram feed okay so now we can connect an Instagram account now to connect an Instagram account is very simple we just click on this big blue button and it'll redirect us to an app where we can uh, connect our Instagram feed automatically. So sometimes it'll redirect you to another page where you have to authorize the app, uh, whatever. So just go ahead and do that. But really just to click a button, you should have your Instagram feed installed. Now, if the button doesn't work for whatever reason, you click on this little link right here that says uh, Instagram feed not working. And this will, is how you connect the two manually. Click here to get your Instagram access token and user ID. And then you can just click on this manually connect button and then that's where you would install your access token. So it should work. I mean, I haven't seen it not work for anyone. It's like worked 100% of the time for any of websites that I've installed this on. So anyways, with that out of the way, we can go down here, check for new posts every hour, day, minute, whatever you want. So I leave it as hour, whatever. And that's it. So now if you want to display your feed, if you're good to go, you can click on this button right here to Instagram dash feed. You right click and you copy and paste this into your pages and post. Now, this plugin comes with a couple different tabs. Here you can change the fit, width and feet, width of the feed, height of the feed as you want. You can change the background color. It does have specific layout options, grid, carousel, masonry. These are all pro features. It's stuck with grid, which I personally like because this is the grid. This is a grid layout. So this is what people are kind of accustomed to with Instagram, so it kind of matches. And here is where you can control how many posts and pages you from your Instagram you see. Uh, so it says number of photos, 20, number of comments, four. So I definitely would recommend showing like three or six max. I wouldn't recommend showing that many, like maybe eight if you're, if you're feeling ambitious. But seriously, I'll just keep it at six. And then I want three columns. So it'll be like a, a three by two, you know. And we can change the padding as we want around the images. I personally like 5px. I think we'll just leave it like that and we'll click on save changes. Okay, so that's it. So now we can go to configure and we wanna grab our Instagram feed right there. Now we have one other little thing right here that says display your feed. This is very helpful, don't be intimidated by this. Just the pink is uh, pro options that you can't use. The rest you can change. Now this is, allows you to change the look and feel of the buttons because you're gonna have questions and like, well, how do I change this? How do I change that? You're gonna to have to jump in here. So it's like, these are like customized options with height, background, class. These are photo options, light box, header options, load more button options, follow on Instagram button options. I'll show you that in just a minute. So 
I'm just gonna go into my pages and we're gonna go to, I'll just go to Instagram because I just created this page as a default for this tutorial video. Okay, so now we have here and simply put, we could just click on this Instagram feed and we can click on update. All right, so now we can just take a look at how the picture looks and we should have our three columns with six images and there you go. So now if you're wondering, well, how do I customize specific things like this, follow on Instagram, load more, uh, if you wanna change the color, all that, I mean, this is where you'd wanna jump into right here. So we can go down here, for example, uh, we'll go to follow on Instagram. So for example, show follow text, false. That means that would remove the follow button. Like if you were looking, hey, I wanna get rid of this follow button. I don't want this here and I don't want this button there. All right, so to do that, you can go here and we'll say Instagram feed, show follow false, okay. Boom, and click on update and we'll load it. And that button will be gone. And there you go. So now we have, you know, the whole point of this is to get people to follow you. So I don't know why you'd wanna remove the button, but if you want to, you can do that uh, there. So for example, I'll just say, follow me text. We'll change that, let's copy this one and get rid of that. All right, so I want this to say, uh, click to follow. Click to follow, for example, and instead of saying, instead of this button saying load more, uh, we can go to the load more button right there. Here we can say false. You can change the button color if you want, or you can change like load more photos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this little section right here, because that's all I wanna take, click it, and now we're gonna just go here, click space, and we just throw this in there into the brackets, okay? So now we have another little option, so button text, load more photos, click to follow, and I'll just change this to more, question mark, more, exclamation mark. All right, let me just close this off with the bracket, boom, and we'll click update, and then we'll take a look at how this looks. All right, so there you go. So that's basically your general idea of how you can change these buttons. So we can change it more, more, click to follow, whatever. All these options are right here. Don't be intimidated by this, okay? These are just brackets, Instagram feed, and then you just take this little second part whenever you wanna change it. If you wanna change the color, you go here to button color, F, F, F. You know, you can quickly change it to any sort of like color that you want. Just play around with different uh, types of colors. Uh, okay, so now to embed an actual picture is very, very simple. So we just go here and say I wanna take this picture of Bangkok. We'll just click on this and you can just go here and paste and it automatically embeds it. <laughs> it's amazing, you know, it's so simple. So there you go. And now we can open this up. All right, so now I have my Instagram feed up top there. You can embed images into blog posts as needed. Now, if you're curious as to like have a little bit more customization, again, you can just go, we'll just go here to configure and I'll just take my Instagram feed, I'll take this generic button. And now, so I'm, again, I use Themify Ultra. So we can just go to the Themify Builder. And so we can go down here, I can add two columns right there. And okay, so now I have these two boxes there and I'll click this and I'll say fancy heading. And I'll say, okay, Instagram and follow me, I'll click on done. Okay, so now we have Instagram there, and right here, what do I wanna do? I want plain text. We'll just copy and paste in the Instagram feed, done, save, update. All right, now we'll just take a quick look at how this is coming out. All right, so we should have the feed displayed at the top via the plugin. This is and just a simple embed, of copy and paste. And then this is done with the Themify Builder, which I highly recommend you get Themify Ultra and then you can just play around and embed your theme because you have complete control over the blocks and the layouts of how you want it. So anyways, guys, that is it for this quick little tutorial on how to embed Instagram onto your blog or website. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, see you next video. Thank you very much for watching. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing. My name is David. On this channel, I post how to create a website, how to start a blog, various full-length tutorials. If that's the sort of thing you're into, consider subscribing. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.